<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, guess the monster. It's huge and can swallow an entire planet. Well, you're probably talking about Behemoth. I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a behemoth today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, Mikey and I are going to build a behemoth. We will have one round in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. A special building. Listen up, friends. It seems to me that building together with DJ Behemoth will be somehow boring. And let's surprise him. Do you agree with me? If yes, then write in the comments plus. And if you are very much against it, then write a minus in the comments. Personally, I would really like to please JJ, and that's why I chose one very cool building. It's a well-known monster, but it's not as well-known as its direct descendant. Friends, did you know that monsters can reproduce? But their methods of reproduction are very different from the usual ones. They reproduce by division, but they just don't divide evenly. For example, if a monster lived on Earth for several centuries and was able to reach a super duper of a huge size, then it will be able to produce new monsters. Ordinary cells divide like this. If a cell can reach size four, then it will divide. But the size of each of the cells will be two. That is, the cell that was divided will become twice as small. But that's not how monsters are divided at all. If a monster could grow into a huge giant, then it can spend a small part of itself to make a smaller monster, which then continues to grow by itself. By the way, friends, and which of you guessed who I would build? Absolutely right. This is the real siren head, but this is not an ordinary siren head at all. If any of you have already guessed, then put a like on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Absolutely right, my dear viewers. This is the Great Mother Megaphone. I'm even surprised that you could guess. After all, Great Mother Megaphone is the mother of our beloved Siren Head. JJ, you recently defeated Siren Head. Aren't you afraid that his mom will take revenge? You know, Mikey, monsters don't work the way you think. <laughs> what I replied to JJ then, I will show you a little later. But in the meantime, I will tell you this. Friends, do you even know who Siren Heads are? If not, then I can remind you. Siren Head is described as a tall, skinny figure which in photographs usually stands in the distance, merging with the terrain due to its immobility, thinness, and great height, which is about 12 meters. He also has no face. In place of the neck, he has a pillar to which the skin has grown, with one end going inside the siren head, the other ending in two horns, one below the other. Long black wires radiate from the horns, which penetrate the entire feeble body almost to the waist. The arms and legs are disproportionately long, relative to the body. The siren head itself looks like a mummy. It is very thin, so much so that the mummified skin covers only the upper part of the trunk, and the ribs, pelvis, radius, and ulna bones remain in plain sight. It is not known why the creature has such injuries. People who met him say that they heard radio conversations, siren air threats, and even the voices of familiar people asking for help, issued by Siren Ogolov. Some survivors also claim to have seen teeth in the mouthpieces. The Siren Head has an amazing ability to mimic. It can stand in one position for several days waiting for a victim, and then abruptly grab her. Some survivors who saw a similar phenomenon claim that white noise was emitted from the speakers of his head. Because of its thinness, it may seem that the creature is weak, but it is not. If desired, the lilac-headed man can break a tree or catch up with a car traveling at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Due to its large stature, thin limbs and the ability to mimic, this creature is easily overlooked. Or if you do not look closely, you can mistake it for a tree or an ordinary pole in the dark. There are few survivors after the encounter with the creature. They disappear without a trace, but those who manage to escape tell about terrible events. The Siren Head is an extremely aggressive predator that can be found in the forest. No one knows for what purpose he takes people, because even the corpses or personal belongings of the stolen could not be found. So why won't Siren Head's mom take revenge on you? Mikey, Mikey. Siren Head will only chase me if he gets really hungry. That's how I got it. In general, I heard that the Great Mother Megaphone was not a huge size, that when she made her first Siren Head, she almost did not shrink. And the Siren Head itself was so huge that it was able to immediately destroy its first city, which was very large. Can you even imagine what would happen if this Great Mother Megaphone suddenly got really, really hungry? She will be able to unload maybe even the whole country. 
That's such a terrible story, friends. Therefore, if you see any suspicious tree in the old forest, do not approach it for anything. Great! My great mother megaphone is ready. I wonder if JJ is coming soon. Meanwhile... Now, it's time to show Mikey what I can do. In order to build my behemoth, I will need blocks of concrete, quartz, as well as white and black glowing blocks. I'm starting construction. Friends, I'm already looking forward to seeing what kind of behemoth Mikey will build. After all, I know that he doesn't know who the behemoth is, so he won't be able to do it right. But this can only mean one thing. I will be able to win this competition 100%. <laughs> well, friends, tell me, did you like this video? What? Haven't you put it on yet? Well, how so? Do you know what will happen if you don't like us? Look, Mikey will behave like this. He will just cry like a little girl because he loves hearts very much. And if we talk about me, I'll look something like this. I'll just die. Do you know why? Because I also really love hearts. So let's take it with you now and put a like. Are you ready? Let's go on the count of three. One, two, three. Like it. Great. You guys are so cool. Now Mikey and I will definitely be fine. JJ, I still haven't figured out how to build a behemoth. What does he look like? Mikey, our competition must be fair. Why should I help you? Um, oh, all right, JJ. Friends, do you know who Behemoth is? I still remember seeing him in the distance, somewhere at the end of our world. Behemoth is a massive and extremely large monster, armored with stone hard plates on its back. It moves on four paws of different sizes. The front paws are large and the hind ones are small. He uses his front paws to attack. The monster's head is directly connected to the body by a very short, inconspicuous neck. The behemoth has six different eyes that are unevenly dispersed around the creature's face but one large eye is in the center. The behemoth has a pair of massive tusks protruding from its lower jaw and also possesses an incredibly long barbed tongue, which it shoots at the victim to pull it towards itself and then kill it with its massive front paws. There are luminous cracks between the stone plates through which magma-like blood flows. The higher the behemoth's level, the more cracks there are in its armor. The belly of the hippo is not protected, which is why its internal organs fall out. The behemoth's face is protected by a kind of stone mask. Few of those who were able to survive the meeting with Behemoth talk about him. Behemoth is a deadly giant whose eyes are burning with hatred. An unbridled savage by nature, Behemoth is not the fastest monster, but this is more than made up for by his incredible strength. If he doesn't flatten you with one blow, his volcanic bombs will finish the job. Can you imagine such a giant also spitting huge volcanic bombs? If not, then listen up. Sometimes the volcanoes of this world explode and scatter a huge number of giant boulders around them, as well as entire lava seas. The largest volcano on Earth could easily wipe out a big city. Now, imagine what happens if you piss off the behemoth. It would be equivalent to hundreds of volcanoes exploding at the same time. That's how scary this creature is. Well, it's time to finish building my behemoth. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put a bed, a bedside table, and I also put anvils in the corners and decorate them with foliage. Oh, it was me by accident. <laughs> I'm putting up bookshelves here, as well as an enchanted table. I'm putting up extra anvils and decorating them with foliage. I also decorate the room around the perimeter with foliage. On this side, I put cabinets, as well as shelves for clothes and shoes. I'm putting up more bookshelves and an enchanted table. This is where I put the dressing table. I'm putting the boiler on and pouring water. Here, I put up racks for armor, as well as hang up my armor. I also lay a large carpet in my room. Great, here is my behemoth and ready. It's time to check out the Mikey. Wow, oh, ah, what? Mikey, did you build the great mother megaphone? It's just unimaginable. Yes, JJ, I really wanted to surprise you. And you did it. 
I thought you'd build a behemoth too. It's just cool. Is there something inside? Of course. Take a quick look if you want. Wow, the tank tops inside are so cute and cozy. You surprised me. Thank you, JJ. But let's see what you've built there. Hurry up and run, Mikey. You'll see for yourself. Wow, JJ. What a great behemoth you've got. Very cool. I like it. Let's see what's inside. Yes, hurry up, JJ. Wow, it's so spacious and cute inside. There is just everything here. I really like it. Thanks, Mikey. I think that you and I can end this. I'm very tired. Friends, and you must write in the comments which of us won. We are very interested. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye. <gasps> Hello, everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, the weather is great today. Let's compete. But who are we going to build today? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a cartoon cat VS house head today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, we have a competition. We will have a round in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Competition. Hello, everyone. We talked with JJ and decided that I would build Cartoon Cat, and JJ would build House Head. I'm starting to build. Friends, tell me, do you know who Cartoon Cat is? In fact, this creature has quite an interesting story. Let me tell you a part of it. Cartoon Cat is an urban legend created by Canadian horror artist Trevor Henderson. He is a giant feline creature that resembles a cartoon cat from the 1930 era, hence his name, Cartoon Cat. He is one of the main antagonists of the myths about Trevor Henderson. Cartoon Cat is a nightmarish creature with a twisted take on the classic cartoon aesthetic. He has a large black head, resembling an old-school cartoon cat, but his features are grotesquely distorted. The eyes are huge, luminous, and hollow, which gives them an exciting expression. The mouth is an exaggerated wide grin filled with rows of sharp, jagged teeth, and when opened, it exposes an inner mouth of glowing red-orange light, enhancing its terrifying appearance. Pointed cat ears protrude from the top of the head, maintaining a cartoonish but creepy silhouette. Cartoon Cat's body is humanoid, but it is covered with pitch black fur, which organically combines with darkness. He is tall and slender, with disproportionately long arms and fingers, which enhances his menacing posture. The Cartoon Cat often appears hunched or distorted, which contributes to its predatory and otherworldly behavior. The creature exudes an aura of malice, combining the innocence of old-school animation with the horror of a malicious entity. He emerges from the shadows, his form shifting and merging with the darkness, ready to strike fear into anyone who encounters him. JJ, have you met Cartoon Cat? Oh, that's Mikey's creepy story. Cartoon Cat is a real devil. But I'm not afraid of him. But you shouldn't have done that. Cartoon Cat has many abilities that reinforce its reputation among all other monsters as a very dangerous creature. It is implied that he has shape-shifting abilities, like typical 30s cartoons with rubber hoses capable of changing his size and length, presence and absence of limbs, as he is malleable, as Trevor claims. Again, this makes him very dangerous even to other creatures, as he is able to defy the laws of physics like a cartoon, making him stronger than most other monsters. On Twitter, Trevor said that Cartoon Cat's anatomy is changing a lot by design. When asked if Cartoon Cat is an ever-changing blob, Trevor replied that he is in some ways, but he has more control over his body than this description would suggest. Cartoon Cat is so dangerous and aggressive that even other monsters are afraid of him, avoiding his lair if they know what's good for them. Trevor has stated several times that Cartoon Cat is not the only cartoon monster, and he has given contradictory information about some Cartoon Cat photos, sometimes claiming it is Cartoon Cat, and sometimes claiming it is another cartoon entity. It is likely that Trevor is deliberately vague in order to keep the secret of his work. That's the story of the creepy Cartoon Cat monster.
But it is better to keep this information secret. Otherwise, he may come to visit you. To be honest, friends, I've never met this monster, but JJ says it's one of the most dangerous creatures. I don't understand him because we recently built Behemoth. And as for me, this Titan is much more dangerous than any cartoon cat. Listen, Mikey, don't underestimate cartoon cat. JJ, but we killed a bunch of different monsters. Different, but not this one. In general, as far as I understand, JJ is afraid of this cartoon cat. Friends, write in the comments. Would you be scared if you met a cartoon cat on the street? For example, I'm not afraid of him at all. After all, it's just a cat with sharp teeth and that's it. On the contrary, I would like to stroke him. So write in the comments. Let's see how many fearless warriors we are. By the way, surprisingly, I'm building my cartoon cat with just a few blocks. I use blocks of coal as you guessed it. I also use quartz blocks, red concrete blocks, and glowing white blocks. Great, I finished building my huge cartoon cat. So, it's my turn to build. In order to build my house head, I will need blocks of concrete, blocks of wood, ceramics, as well as glass. I'm starting to build. First of all, I'm building a tall pillar out of brown blocks. Now, with the help of these same blocks, I am expanding the brown pillar. This will be the main leg of my house head. Now I am building a large base on this leg. It will be the frame of my house head and then its main body. When building the body of my house head, I do not use the same blocks of wood, but completely different ones. I do all this to make my house head look beautiful and very unusual. During the construction process, I immediately leave empty openings for windows. I also build the roof of my house head using dark brown blocks. Friends, tell me, did you know that house head is the cousin of siren head? To be honest, when I found out about this fact, I felt a little uneasy. After all, before, when Mikey and I defended our house from the siren head, we killed a whole bunch of them. What if house head gets angry and comes to take revenge on us? It even sounds very creepy. Have you ever thought about who house head is? It looks like it's a spider-like creature with about eight or more and a home for a head. His head simulates a house for ambushing any prey that gets on him. They usually travel in herds every midnight. Each house is different, which makes them unique. They also have lights like eyes to see in the dark. Their mouth is located at the door, which may be located at the back of the house head. They have long tongues in which they get longer over time and everything else is due to evolution because yes, these creatures undergo evolution, especially when they absorb and digest their victims. They are made of old wood. The house head is connected to a long neck made of old wood, as mentioned earlier. JJ, do you know how to quickly defeat house head without getting into his stomach? To be honest, Mikey doesn't... Um, okay. Friends, do you know what I'm thinking about more and more often? Namely, that there is a cartoon about a monster house. We just built it with you recently. And what if in the cartoon it's not just a monster house, but a real house head? Can you imagine that? And how did I not notice it before? In fact, Mikey is not afraid of Househead for nothing. JJ, but you've already killed Househead. Yes, it really happened, but I was very lucky. And this is absolutely true. After all, Househead is not a zombie or a spider. It's Househead. <laughs> well then, it's time to come to an end. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put up a bed, hang a picture, and put anvils in the corners and decorate them with foliage. I hang lanterns on top. Put up a workbench, stoves, armor racks, and plant a flower. I'm laying a red carpet all over the room. I also hang my armor on racks. Now the second floor. Here, I'm removing all the extra blocks. Now, I'm completing all the missing blocks with the help of half blocks of wood. I'm putting redstone lamps on top. 
On the one hand, I put different chests in a checkerboard pattern. And now, it's exactly the same on the other side. Great! Here's my house head, and it's ready. I think it's time to check Mikey. Wow, Mikey, this is a real cartoon cat. Have you decided to call someone here again? No, JJ, did I build it? Oh, it's just great. I like it. And what's inside? Take a quick look. Wow, it's so beautiful and spacious inside. As if you've returned to your home. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Then hurry up and run forward, Mikey. Look. Wow, JJ, you've got such a realistic house head. It looks just like the real thing. Thanks for the praise, Mikey. You're welcome. Can I see what's inside? Well, what a question. Hurry up and go upstairs. Wow, JJ, you've done so well. House head is so creepy, but inside everything looks like home. I like it. Thanks, Mikey. Friends, don't be lazy to like this video. This will be the best gift for me. Let's go together on the count of three. One, two, three. Like it. Thank you so much, friends. Mikey, I think we can end this. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye.